Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 131. If you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com because I do have to blur 50% of this episode due to Naver Webtoons policy. So yeah, if you guys don't want to deal with the whole blur but want to gain early access to all of my content, on my YouTube that I'm currently reading. They're available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm wearing my big glasses today, so y'all won't see my actual facial expression, so... <laughs> this potion... It's like a curse. What are you doing here all by yourself? You were having a merry time with other guests just a short while ago. The truth is, something upsetting happened to me. I was simply concerned for my sister. Sister? Yet, Lord Kosair said some scary things to me. Okay, so you guys have to remember, every time you guys see a text mobile like this, it is pretty much someone's brain, like they're thinking about it in their head. So they're not verbally saying it. And I'm probably going to start adding, like, uh, echo voice so y'all can understand, like, hey, this is not someone, like, physically saying. I wonder how many people heard that the former empress is infertile. Imagine what would happen if the rumor spread amongst the nobles here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's lovely when it comes to her appearance and voice, but her thought could... Thoughts could not be more ruthless. Grand Duke? Uh. <laughs> uh. No man can resist my charms. She is so full of herself, guys. Even Henry fell for me at first. Good night. Uh? Just as I thought. She's not fit to be the Empress. Uh? Step, step. <gasps> dun, dun. Oh. Your Majesty, this isn't. Uh, Why is she panicking? It's just... uh. Oh. What's what's going on? He's not even pretending to be jealous anymore. I guess he feels secure because we're married now. But he needs to know how much people love me. Wait. But he needs to know how much people love me. So she's a, she's around other people and he and she purposely want her husband Soveshu, the emperor, to see. So she, he would believe that people like like her and would want her to be an empress. That's what I'm assuming, right? Because she's trying to get people to love her. To maybe like convince him like to make her an empress for a lot longer than just a year. Right? His majesty appears to have gotten the wrong idea. <laughs> Will you stay with me just until I feel less lonely? The Remarried Empress Episode 131 Today is the third day of the wedding feast. I knew that a lot of things were going to change after the wedding, but things were more different than I expected. Clap, clap. In particular, I'm surprised by the noble women. I don't know why they are so kind to me all of a sudden. I heard your majesty enjoys reading. I can re recommend you a great merchant who sells rare books if you like. But I should make use of this golden opportunity. But there's one thing that bothers me. Henry slept in his own chambers yesterday, after he met with Kaufman. I do understand that he might want to rest alone if he's exhausted. And married couples don't have to spend every single night together. <laughs> but I wish he would have at least told me in person. Uh, Grand Duke Kaufman, uh, your majesty, how did your conversation with his majesty go yesterday, after his majesty left with you? Oh my! <laughs> Good morning to you! 
Grand Duke and my big sister. <laughs> Were you able to get back to your chambers without any problem last night? My shawl. <laughs> yes, I have it. It kept me warm last night. This conversation doesn't seem to be for my ears. I'll leave you two to converse. Please give it back. Huh? D dun. P pardon? Thud. <gasps> Wait, so she ran away with a shawl still? Is that... I thought that was hers. Right? Wait. Yeah, he was, he was wearing that already. Hold on, guys. Yeah. What is this a shawl like? Sorry, guys. I have to figure out, like, a shawl? Uh. Huh? What happened between the two of you? Just nothing. I should get going. Stop. What happened? Did the potion stop working? But when I looked at Navier, I apologize for what happened yesterday. <laughs> there is no need to apologize. Your well-being is more is important for the future of our nation. I was wondering how things were going for him. Are you feeling better now? Yes, I think my exhaustion made me intoxicated and inconvenienced you. Huh? Drunk? Dizzy. He didn't accept my overtures because he wanted to? To avoid any misunderstanding, please ask someone else to take care of me next time, even if you find me unconscious. Huh? But, uh, uh, how could I... I would appreciate it. But... Uh. <laughs> Ba -bum -ba. The potion stopped working for King Henry and me. After one night? Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. How? This is just conjecture. But perhaps you love this person even before you drank the potion. I had feelings for Navier even before the potions? To be continued. Okay. Wow. So, of course, I'm kind of glad one thing for sure is that the potion did not wave, like, you know, kind of push the two men to fall in love with two evil people. Okay. I'm really relieved to hear that. I am very, you know, it still surprises me whenever I, we see that, you know, Grand Duke Kaufman reading someone else's mind and the fact that he is reading Rasha's mind and it's crazy because you would think she's a ditz, you know, a ditzy girl, but this whole time it's just an act, right? She has such a sweet face, but inside her brain, she is really messed up. She's a really evil person. So it's just kind of fun to see that aspect, you know, of Rashta, but being able to hear her actual thought is like, oh, you're kind of proving a, a, my point. And that point is she's not stupid. She's very deceitful she's very smart she's just yeah she plays a part of a dummy anyways i'm kind of sad that navier felt kind of isolated you know because henry did not come to the bed and you know be with her but yeah and to hear that krista and henry are not canoodling i was really relieved i was like henry don't abandon navier like she's gonna be so alone in your empire you know but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style. And if you guys do, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!